Hi, I am Sohail. Today I am going to discuss the monocot leaf. Main points of the lesson are leaf anatomy including the epidermis, bully farm cells, mesophyll cells, silica cells, Krenz sheath and bundle sheath extensions. A leaf is a highly organized factory, an organ constructed of several kinds of specialized tissues, each of which has its own duties. The product of factory is no less than the food which supports nearly all life on earth. In this lesson, I will explore the monocot leaf. Monocot leaves, they have parallel venation. Examples of monocotyledonous plants are grasses, wheat, rice, barley, sugarcane, palms, bananas, gingers, turmeric, cardamom, all these are monocotyledonous plants. Anatomy of monocot leaf. Monocot leaf has upper and lower epidermis and they are made up of single layer of thin walled cells. The outer walls are covered by cuticle. So here is upper epidermis and this is lower epidermis. Upper and lower epidermis they are covered by a layer of cuticle. Stomata are little mouths for the exchange of gases. They are present more or less equal in number in upper epidermis as well as in lower epidermis. The stomata is surrounded by dumbbell shaped guard cells. These are the guard cells, they contain chloroplast and photosynthetic in function. While epidermal cells, they are transparent, they do not have chloroplast, so they are not photosynthetic in function, but the guard cells, they are photosynthetic in function. And in between the guard cells, there is a single opening which is called stoma, that is singular and stomata is plural. What are subsidiary cells? Subsidiary cells are distinct epidermal cells which surround the guard cells. So these are distinct epidermal cells which surround the guard cells, they are called subsidiary cells. Some cells of upper epidermis, they are large and thin walled, they are called bullyform or motor cells. These cells are helpful for the rolling and unrolling of leaf according to weather change. Some epidermal cells in grasses, they are filled with silica and they are called silica cells. So, so silica cells are epidermal cells which contain silica. The ground tissue which is present between upper epidermis and lower epidermis that is called mesophyll. And mesophyll cells in monocot is not differentiated into palisade mesophyll and spongy mesophyll. But, but in case, case of dicot leaf, mesophyll cells are differentiated into palisade mesophyll and spongy mesophyll. But mesophyll cells are nearly isodiametric and thin walled. Isodiametric means they are roughly spherical in shape. Mesophyll cells, they are compactly arranged with limited intercellular spaces. So, so in monocot leaf, Intercellular spaces or air cavities are limited because the mesophyll cells are compactly arranged. Mesophyll cells, they contain numerous chloroplasts and they are photosynthetic in function. Most of the vascular bundles are smaller in size, but large vascular bundles, they are also present at regular intervals. As we can see in this diagram, this is a large vascular bundle and these are small vascular bundles. So most of the vascular bundles, they are small in size, but larger vascular bundles, they are present at regular intervals. Two patches of sclerin chema cells, they are present above and below the large vascular bundles. And these sclerin chema patches, they provide mechanical support to the leaf. See, as, as we, we can, can see in this slide, this is a large vascular bundle that has two patches of sclerin chema cells and each patch of sclerin chema cell that is called bundle sheath extension. So bundle sheath extensions are present only in large vascular bundles, but in small vascular bundles these bundle sheath extensions are absent. The small vascular bundles, they do not have such sclerin chematous patches. So sclerin chema patches, they are present only in large vascular bundles and absent in case of small vascular bundles. Each vascular bundle that is surrounded by non-vascular cells and these non-vascular cells are called bundle sheath and bundle sheath is composed of parenchyma cells. So the cells of bundle sheath 
in monocot leaf they have chloroplast as well as they also store starch grains that is why they are also known as starch sheath. Vascular bundle is composed of xylem and phloem. Xylem is located towards the upper epidermis and phloem is located towards the lower epidermis. This so, is a vascular bundle and vascular bundle that consists of xylem and phloem. Xylem is located towards the upper epidermis and phloem is located towards the lower epidermis. In large vascular bundle, xylem is differentiated into protoxylem and metaxylem. Protoxylem and metaxylem, these are two types of primary xylem tissues that occur during the xylem development. In the main difference between protoxylem and metaxylem is that protoxylem is the first part of the xylem that is formed whereas metaxylem that forms later on. Protoxylem it contains narrow vessels and metaxylem that contains larger vessels. So these are narrow vessels which are called here protoxylem and these are larger vessels that is called metaxylem. So metaxylem and protoxylem both are types of primary xylem. In grasses, bundle sheath cells which are living parenchyma cells, they are involved in C4 photosynthesis and this sheath is also called Krenz sheath. Now most frequently asked questions, cells, what are boliform cells and give its functional role? Boliform cells are large bubble shaped epidermal cells which are present on the upper surface of monocot leaves and these cells they help in the rolling of leaves to reduce the loss of water during hot midday. What are the tissues present in the veins of leaves? The veins of leaves represent the vascular bundles that include xylem and phloem tissues. Xylem is directed towards the upper epidermis and phloem is directed towards the lower epidermis. What is bundle sheath in monocot leaf? Bundle sheath are non-vascular cells which are present around the vascular bundles. These cells they contain chloroplast, photosynthetic in function and they store starch granules. That is why bundle sheath is also known as here starch sheath. To sum up, monocot leaves they have parallel venation and the leaf anatomy that consists of upper epidermis and lower epidermis. Upper and lower epidermis they are surrounded by a thick layer of cuticle. Stomata are little mouths for gaseous exchange. They are present in upper epidermis as well as in the lower epidermis. The and stomata is surrounded by dumbbell shaped guard cells which contain chloroplast and photosynthetic in function. And rest of the epidermal cells they are transparent, they do not have chloroplast, so they are not involved in the process of photosynthesis. What are subsidiary cells? Subsidiary cells are distinct epidermal cells which surround the guard cells. They are called subsidiary cells. Now silica cells are also epidermal cells that contain silica. Now the ground tissue which is present between upper epidermis and lower epidermis that is mesophyll cells. And in monocot leaf mesophyll cells are not differentiated into palisade mesophyll and spongy mesophyll. But these mesophyll cells they are compactly arranged so they have limited number of ear cavities or intercellular spaces and mesophyll cells they are rich in chloroplast and photosynthetic in function. Vascular bundles that consist of xylem and phloem they are present in the leaf but small vascular bundles they are more in number as compared to large vascular bundle. In case of large vascular bundle on either side it has a patch of saccharin chemo cells and these saccharin chemo cells they provide a sort of mechanical support to the leaf that is called bundle sheath extension. So bundle sheath extensions they are only present in case of large vascular bundle but in case of small vascular bundle bundle sheath extensions are absent. Now each vascular bundle that is surrounded by a layer of parenchyma cells that is called bundle sheath and bundle sheath cells they contain chloroplast, they are photosynthetic in function as well as they also store starch granules. Inside the bundle sheath here vascular bundles are present and vascular bundles that consist of xylem and phloem. Xylem is present towards the upper epidermis and phloem is present towards the lower epidermis. In monocot leaf, xylem is differentiated into protoxylem and metaxylem. 
Protoxylum and metaxylum are two types of primary xylem tissues that occur during the xylem development. And the main difference between protoxylum and metaxylum is that protoxylum is the first formed part of the xylem, whereas metaxylum forms later. Protoxylum it contains narrow vessels, while metaxylum it contains larger vessels. Let's watch this slideshow to focus on monocot leaf. <laughs> 